and as simple as that. Now, what if someone, uh, our, our brothers in humanity, the Christians, they say, look, uh, there was a lot of false prophets that came, and yes. they mentioned Joseph Smith, for instance. Yes. Uh, what what, what would you right. say? Yes. Now, see, let's go to the Bible and see what Bible says about a future coming prophet. And this is very important. It goes into the Bible in the Old Testament. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. It says, God says to Moses, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, like unto you. He will not speak by himself, but all that I shall command him to speak. Now this prophecy, Christians generally claim this is Jesus. But you got to understand, the verse is saying, I will raise them up a prophet. So if they agree this is Jesus, then you got to agree Jesus is only the prophet, not God. Second, it makes you a clear distinction that it can't be Jesus because the verse is saying, from among their brethren. So this is the Jewish community, the Israelites. And God is saying, this prophet will be from your brethren, meaning from your cousins. The cousins of Jews the whole world knows are the Arabs. All right, whatever you know, issues we have between us, we'll solve it. But this is between the cousins. The Arabs and the Jews are the children of Isaac and Ismail, both who were children of Ibrahim, Abraham. So both are cousins. So God is saying they will be from among the cousins. So it has to be no one else other than the Arab prophet. Amongst the Arabs, after Ishmael, peace be upon him, Ismail alayhi salam, there was no other prophet other than Prophet Muhammad. So it has to be Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It goes further in uh, Songs of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. It mentions the name, Hikko mamitakim vikullo muhammadim. The translation reads, he is altogether lovely, his mouth is sweet. Yes, we agree Prophet Muhammad is altogether lovely, but you don't translate the noun. So the verse reads, Hikko mamitakim vikullo muhammadim. Why im? In Hebrew, the respect is added by adding im. Eloh, Elohim. Muhammad, Muhammadim. So even the name Muhammad is still there in the original manuscript of Hebrew language of the Bible in Songs of Solomon. So in Songs of Solomon, Muhammad, peace be upon his name, name is, is mentioned, mentioned there. Let, so how could you get away from it? Let, let's uh, stop there, take a break, and we'll be right back with more here on The Dean Show. Don't go anywhere. Back here on the Dean Show, so we're giving our brothers in humanity, the Christians, who look to the Bible for guidance, yeah. uh, they can reflect see, over right? these by yes. these uh, verses from the Bible to see yes. that there was a messenger coming Come. after uh, Jesus. Jesus. It's not yes. talking about the Joseph Smith or anybody no, like definitely this. Definitely not. It's yes. pretty it clear. Be, yes. You also even have Muhammad, peace be upon his name, yes. in the Song in the of Solomon, Solomon. Solomon. Chapter 5, verse 16. Give us something else to, sure. to reflect over. We'll go further into the New Testament now in the words of Jesus, peace be upon him. There are verses where Jesus speaks about another comforter, prophet, or helper coming in the future. This is mentioned in the Bible in great detail in Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 16. Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 26 to 28. Gospel of John chapter 15 verse 26. Gospel of John chapter number 1 verses 19 to 21. Gospel of John chapter number 1 verse number 25. Book of Judah chapter number 1 verse number 14 as well. We will see in some of the verses in detail. Jesus is saying, Jesus is asked a question by the Jews and, by, and even to John the Baptist. So the Jews are waiting for three people and they ask John the Baptist in Gospel of John chapter 1 verses 19 to 21. They ask him, are you the Elijah, the Elias? He says, no. They say, are you the Christ? John the Baptist says, no. They say, are you that prophet? So you see, there are three distinct personalities Jews were waiting according to the Old Testament. So one is the Elijah, the Elias, which is actually John the Baptist. The second is the Christ, the Messiah, that is Jesus, peace be upon him. And they're asking a third person, who is that prophet? Referring to Deuteronomy 18, 18. That prophet from among the brethren. So these are the three distinct personalities that the Jews were waiting. They asked the similar question to Jesus in the Gospel of John chapter 1, verse 25. They asked him the same. Are you the Elijah? Are you the Christ? Are you the prophet? So he says, John the Baptist is the Elijah. He says, I am the Christ, Jesus. And that prophet is still anonymous, is still remaining. We Muslims are informing our Christian friends that this is referring to that prophet, that is Prophet Muhammad. Let's go further. In the very words of Jesus, peace be upon him. Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse 7. Now, Jesus is saying in the red letters in the Bible, he says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Now, in this verse, Jesus is making a very clear statement to his disciples. He's saying, I got to go and the other one needs to come. Generally, the Christians say this comforter is referring to the Holy Spirit. 
If it was the Holy Spirit, Jesus always calls the Holy Spirit in the Bible, Holy Spirit. He never referred to the Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost with another title as Comforter. Why suddenly in this verse, Jesus is saying, He will come. Unless I go not away, He will not come. So for example, I'm coming from Australia and you are here in America, Brother Eddie. I say to you, unless I go not back to Australia, the other Amer Australian speaker will not come. Can that Australian speaker be me or you or our brother you know, here with, with us in the studio? Obviously not, because I'm saying, unless I go not back, he will not come. So anyone else but not from this room. So when Jesus was saying this statement, the Holy Spirit was right then and there between them. And Jesus is saying, unless I go not away, he will not come to you. So it's a very clear distinction. It has to be a new person. And this comforter in the Greek language is parakletos. Parakletos translated would mean the one who is praised. Mm -hmm. The name Prophet Muhammad comes from the Arabic word hamd. Hamd means praise. And Muhammad means the one who is praised. So Parakletos meaning and Muhammad's meaning are really matching. Whereas Holy Spirit is not the one who is praised or the one who praises. That's not the title given to him ever in the Bible. And Parakletos, that Greek word in this verse, is not used for Holy Spirit ever in the Bible any other time. So it cannot be the Holy Spirit. It has to be a future coming prophet. And let's complete the myth. Gospel of John chapter 16 verse 12 to 14. Jesus further says, I have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now. How be it when He, the Spirit of truth, shall come, He will guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak by Himself, but all that He shall hear, that shall He speak. He will show you things to come. He shall glorify Me. Now Jesus is giving four amazing characteristics of this Comforter. First of all, He calls that He is the Spirit of truth. Once again, Jesus didn't call Holy Ghost. Once again, Jesus didn't call Holy Spirit. He said, Spirit of Truth. So a human soul is the Spirit of Truth in the Bible language. Second, he says that, I, I have more things to teach you, but I can't teach you. You can't accept them. But when he comes, he will bring you all the truth. All the truth. How to clean yourself in the toilet to how to rule a country. From cradle to the grave. Everything is there in this religion. Whatever you want to do. Friendship, family, marriage, divorce, death, whatever. Everything is mentioned very clearly. You become a ruler of the country. What is the punishment? What is the process of education? How do you deal with all of this? Is very clearly mentioned in this, in, in, this, uh, in this scripture. So Jesus is saying he will teach you all things to come. Secondly, it also says that he will not speak by himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. This is again a human prophet's character in the entire Bible. The prophets don't speak by themselves. Whatever they hear, they speak. The Holy Spirit, on the other hand, is one of the Trinity according to the Christian belief. So does God speak by himself or does he take command? If the Holy Spirit is God, he gives command. He doesn't take command. So it cannot be the Holy Spirit. It has to be a human prophet. And the human prophet is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, referring there. The last thing he says, he shall glorify me. Now, Prophet Muhammad is the only non-Christian prophet who has made it an article of faith for all his followers, billions, to believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, and glorify him. No Muslim is a Muslim. We don't take the name of Jesus unless we add Peace be upon him. We glorify his name. Hope that makes it very clear that Prophet Muhammad is the prophet that he's expected. You definitely got a lot of people, sincere people, uh, thinking. And we'll be right back with more here on The Dean Show. Don't go anywhere.